Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a new book today called Filled of Letters, a brief narrative of womankind featuring 30 stories and 20 adult coloring illustrations. Uh, this is volume one, Ancient Times. This is the back of the book. It gives a little history about what this book is about. It, it begins with the earliest woman known by name and ends with the tragic demise of the last great thinker before the dark ages it tells the story of womankind's evolution throughout ancient civilizations um, and their impact on our lives even today okay so let's get started this is what the spine looks like the paper is very very thin like copy paper so i would definitely only use my um my pencils in this book um, it's for the most part it's double-sided non-perforated here's the table of contacts and it tells you every single one of the um, women that are in the book we start with Nefertip and we end with Hypatia y'all know I'm not good with names so I'll do the best I can okay the first couple of pages they give you a prehistory of womankind a very very interesting read I'm not gonna read all of this for you very very nice story very very good information here a lot of stuff I had no idea so very interesting read okay here it starts the first one in 3500 with the earliest woman known by name Nethotep I don't know leader of Egypt's first United Dynasty and here we got a picture of her the, the, the illustrations are gorgeous um i love how they have the lighter colors and then they have the um the outlines of the main focal point it's a little darker and it just pops out it's really really pretty um i do have to say one thing before i keep turning the pages there are a few pictures in here that um the women are topless there's um so if you um if nudity bothers you in any way even in a coloring book um I suggest you know you stop watching so I'm just giving you a little warning some people it bothers and some people it doesn't this is a long long ago and they did things different um, 2900 BCE Nakashi was a legendary beer brewer all right here's some information and a hymn to her like I said here you go here is Nakashi look how beautiful though her um her picture's gorgeous all right, then we have Marneth, who lived during 2970 BCE in Egypt. She was the second woman to rule on her own. Was an Egyptian woman who was the first known physician and gynecologist who lived in 2700 BCE. That is awesome. The pyramid in the background. And Hidiana, and Hudiana was the first known author in history <clears throat> that is amazing this is her right here beautiful this is Inanna Notokris Natokris was queen who sought revenge for her brother's murder and brought unity to Egypt in a time of chaos she built she was a queen in Egypt and she built a 3,000 room labyrinth and worshipped crocodiles yes this will look so good colored in the crocodiles the big eye how neat and here she is in all her glory beautiful the boat and all in the background Ty lived in 1338 BCE and was the first woman of her era to be depicted as an equal to her pharaoh husband while he still lived. I started coloring her. This is Ty. It's kind of metallic and shiny. I don't know if you can see, but I just started with some prisms on her. Um, she worked as a groundbreaking perfumist. And here she goes with all her bottles and all of her herbs and everything. Tamaris, a nomadic warrior queen who ended the reign of Sirius, Sirius the Great in 530 BCE. This is her warrior queen, badass right here. Gorgeous picture. 
DOT may conceptualize the idea of platonic love and postpone the plague of Athens in Greece. Epsasia was an influential thinker and philosopher in Athens, Greece. Timoclea of Thebes. Eurydoas and Salome. There's a platter. There's a head on the platter. Okay. Bodicai was a queen. Wow. A lot of queen, powerful women in these books. This would be really beautiful. Um, since it's single sided, you could do your fine liners on here. It would be beautiful. Empress Himikyo from Japan. Oh, that's going to be pretty. I can't wait to cut her. Mariah, the professorist. Really cool. She was a math magician. And then they have um, on page 105, they have a little quiz. Um, if you read the whole book, you can quiz yourself. And then they have words and quotes of ancient women. They have the footnotes. Um, all of her sources are here. I think there's a crossword. Yeah, here's a crossword puzzle. And then we just have blank pages. Okay, yeah, it's 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 a big book. It's a hundred and oh, that stops. About hundred and twelve pages all together with everything. So yeah. Um, I will post a link down at the bottom where you can purchase this. It is um it's different. It's very, very different. Um it was very, very interesting. I only got halfway through it so far, but what I have read was very interesting. There was a lot of things that I didn't know or women that I didn't have never heard about. So that was kind of cool to learn about um, and get the color while you're going through. So if you like it, um, go check it out. I'll give you a link to where you can purchase it. Just um, let me know if you have any questions about it or anything like that. And I'll be glad to get back with you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.